This is a dull and gloomy neighborhood. And over there is Mimi, Mimi Bot, and Mimi's mother. Over the years, electrical products such as refrigerators, air conditioners, washing machines, computers, televisions, and mobile phones are being produced and will become e-waste one day. So what is e-waste? E-waste or electronic waste is those electronic products that have reached the end of their useful life. Throughout the years, e-waste is being produced at an alarming rate and is causing damage to the environment. In 1995, there were 15 million pieces of e-waste produced in Malaysia alone. In 2015, it became 44 million pieces and that left us with a huge mess of e-waste mountains. There are hazardous substances found in e-waste. For example, lead, chromium and cadmium in printed circuit boards, lithium in batteries, mercury in LCD monitors, and polybrominated flame retardants in plastic casings. It also releases greenhouse gases and ozone-depleting substances such as chlorofluorocarbons. It is estimated that 55 million units of e-waste will be produced in 2020. That is 3.5 times higher than 1995. With that in mind, Mimi takes a walk around her neighborhood. While walking, she stumbles upon a house which has a small pile of e-waste. Without thinking much, Mimi manages the e-waste along with her robot. She begins sorting the food waste and e-waste separately, just like how her mother taught. Later that day, Mimi bumps into a woman who is just about to call up the unauthorized collector to clear her e-waste. Mimi stops the woman from calling the unauthorized collector and explains to her that they will collect the e-waste and dispose into a landfill without proper management. Sooner or later, the e-waste will emit tons of poisonous gases and liquids that will harm the environment. In the meantime, Minibot starts calling for the authorized collector. The authorized collector comes and takes immediate action on the e-waste. Once they are done packing the e-waste into their truck, they send it over to their facility where the e-waste is converted into different valuable resources. Most of the e-waste is made of iron or steel, but you will be surprised at what else is contained inside the e-waste as well. There is even gold, bronze and other useful resources that can be used to make other valuable products. The next day, an uncle comes out of his house and realizes that his waste is properly sorted. He then throws the bottle into the correct recycle bin. In another home, the woman hears Sura Kabalama outside her house and hesitates for a while. She goes to the website www.doe.gov.my slash household dash e-waste to check whether they are legally authorized to handle the e-waste. She proceeds to calling for the proper authorized collector to manage her e-waste instead. When everyone comes together and puts in effort to help the environment, it will certainly be clean and healthy once again. Changes start with you. Make a change today. Give us new life.